this is John. Now John's one of the soundest fiends you could ever meet. Like I'm not even kidding, like one time he needed a fiver, John gave it to me. No questions asked. Classic. True hero. Was born on the rough streets of Chicago. Land full of gloom and depression. Like it's a serious shite fest over there. Like they need to sort out their priorities. It's like not Nahini on a bad day, I'm not even kidding, like. Now it's here that like Joan was educated, Whitney Houston University for kids who can't read good. And he used to say she was so mad for the old science. Joan then went on to get a good few of those, uh, what you call them, degree yokes at the Florida Institute of uh, something sciencey. Yeah, that's it. Uh, since she was so good at space science and all that, uh, she ended up working at the Kennedy Facility of Constellations. It's KFC. <laughs> Eventually, uh, NASA said they let Joan head up to the old Final Frontier uh, Space Lab kind of place uh, and do some other class science. I believe it was actually Mr. John Nass who said, <coughs> Go on to John! And uh, that was that. In uh, 2008, John was shot to space faster than you could say, uh, Glandui Briffy. If you should records now, they say John is only in space for a measly 12 days, but like since we're such good friends with her, like the old John Meister, we managed to get some classified information off her. Some real FBI uh, Skyboy stuff. And we uh, we know they found something up there, like something big, something bigger than all of us, for something even bigger than Jerry Adams himself. We're talking about the one, the only Sabine Tiberka. Oh yeah, that's right. Big Papa Grew himself. Go. Go on the Joe.